Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. All right, Matt, this is the kind of cold weather when if you walk outside, you could just like feel it all it's over. It's like a wall, totally. Yeah, yeah the wind I can just, feel it in my teeth. Yeah, the wind just out. cuts right through everything. There's some brave skiers out there. I saw people at Stowe right no now. No kidding. Crazy. Some cool <laughs> shots, though, because of this cold. Imagine being in a boat out there with that steam fog there, Zuri. <sighs> no, thank you. Yeah, no thanks. It wouldn't be very fun, but it is giving us some cool shots. Very similar to uh, lake effect snow, where the Arctic air moves over the much warmer uh, lake temperature. And you can also see, kind of see these tendrils of vapor just sort of rising up into that colder air because of that process. You have water temps in the upper 30s, the air temperature 9 below zero, a northwest wind at 16. That's making our wind chill in Plattsburgh at 32 below uh, zero right now. So same process sort of happening over uh, Lake Champlain on the Burlington side. You can see that steam fog just moving in from north to south, trying to get some steam devils up there. Hasn't, haven't seen any in the past uh, hour or so, but again, that temperature negative 7 in Burlington, northwest wind 18 miles per hour. So our wind chill right now is at 30 below. We're at 14 below in Messina for real time air temperatures, 13 below in Newport as well. Still got that positive territory south of Montpelier, but these negative numbers will move into southern Vermont. Look at this reservoir of cold air we've got all the way up near Hudson Bay. Just this pool of 20 to 30 below zero. That is on our way in for the overnight hours. Wind speeds right now out of the northwest, 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's sustained winds. The gusts are probably even higher than that. So it's just pretty brutal out there. You can see that northwest flow on Storm Tracker pretty well with these cloud streets sort of moving in northwest to southeast and you can really see how that colder air moves over the warmer Gulf of Maine and the reason we call them cloud streets is because they sort of come into parallel rows like sort of parallel streets there very similar to lake effect snow in this case as well so what can we expect the rest of the day well the coldest air certainly moves in tonight into Saturday morning but then we've got a very rapid warm-up Saturday afternoon and especially into Sunday could see temps near 40 then and then even a few rain or snow showers Sunday night into Monday. Yeah, it could be warm enough for some rain showers. So quite a wild swing in temperatures we've got. We'll fall all day continuously into the double digit negative territory, even down into southern Vermont. So by 4 p.m., we're about negative 10 in Springfield. We're still positive numbers down there now. But by tomorrow morning, we're nice and clear. The wind should start to relax a little bit, but these temperatures just brutal. 29 below in St. Johnsbury, 27 below in Saranac Lake, about 20 below in Bur uh, Plattsburgh. 17 below in Burlington, but watch what happens tomorrow afternoon. We get back above zero for pretty much everybody except maybe the Northeast Kingdom. Some clouds start to move in, a couple of snow showers, but look what happens. We rise all night Saturday into the morning on Sunday. So by Sunday morning, we're near 20 degrees. Sunday afternoon, we're well into the 30s. Could even see a little bit of sunshine down in southern Vermont. And then here comes our next system. It's very weak, just a few snow showers coming into the uh, northern Adirondacks, northern Green Mountains. And that's about it for the brutal cold after this. We're actually looking above average through the first couple of weeks of February. So brutal cold is unlikely. This would mean many days in the 30s and 40s for us ahead, but certainly nothing like that tonight. Look at these low temperatures. We're forecasting 14 below in Burlington, 26 below in Saranac Lake, 21 below in Messina. The winds will be kicking up all night long out of the northwest. So that's why the worst wind chills will probably be tonight. They start to relax tomorrow morning, finally getting up into positive territory by the afternoon. Look at that jump from Saturday to Sunday. We rise a whole 30 degrees by Sunday afternoon. Lower 30s Monday could be in the 40s with a few rain showers on Tuesday. Zuri? All right, Matt.